Do you know how important a bass line is? Sometimes it's all you ever need to bring an entire song into focus, and it's definitely true with this one. It's funky, it's distinctive, it's iconic. It's Jeffrey Osborne. Recorded in 1983 from the album of the same name, Stay With Me Tonight puts the bass line front and center at the top of the track with no chords, no vocals, just bass. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect example of how powerful a great bass line can be. This one sets the tone for the whole tune. First off, the line sounds like it was composed with its repeating rhythmic figure and perfectly placed plucks. It definitely sounds as though some thought was put into it as opposed to being jammed up in the studio. Secondly, this was a line that was made to be slapped. It would just not have the same effect if it was played finger style. The space, the syncopation, the accents, they need to be thumped in order to get that sound. It's actually not that hard of a line to play, but you have to be really precise to make it dance. The entire track actually features some studio royalty from the early 80s, including Steve Ferrone on electronic drums, Paul Jackson Jr. on rhythm guitar, and it was produced by the late, great George Duke. It definitely has that George Duke sound. And believe it or not, all these cats, session musicians, somehow ended up in the music video. Not a common practice. And did I mention that Brian May plays the guitar solo on this song? Brian May from Queen? That's right, Jeffrey Osborne's manager at the time, Jack Nelson, had formerly been the manager of Queen the first five years of the band. So he made a phone call. This kind of follows the trend of the time with Eddie Van Halen playing on Beat It and Stevie Ray Vaughan playing on Let's Dance. Oh, and the bass player on the track was the one and only Alfonso Johnson, veteran of Weather Report and the Cobham Duke Band. He had already recorded three solo albums at this point and played on numerous others. And dig this, his reputation was built as one of the finest fretless bass players you'll ever hear, and he slaps the heck out of this line. This bass line was what 1980s, pre-hip hop, funk bass playing was all about. It was precise, in your face, it was a hook and arguably the most important and driving element to great groove music. So check it out.